This is beautiful Sardis Lake in Sardis, Mississippi. So this is our campsite at Sardis Lake and look at the view from our campsite. Absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous day. And with the uh, America the Beautiful Pass, this is $9 a night with full hookups. Can't beat that. Today it's supposed to be around 70 degrees even though it's November 6th. So, happy voting day. <laughs> All right. This is the lower lake. It's the small lake. We're actually at the foot of a dam. There's a, through these trees you can see like that hill goes up, that mound. That is the dam for Sardis Lake. And then this is the, the lower lake. And there's uh, boating slips right there, which are free for campers to use. You can park your boat there. And it's quiet. Now most of the campers uh, are camped along the lake. Uh, there's a bunch of other sites down in there that are just empty. So not very busy. But very peaceful. Nine dollars a night. We're gonna stay here a while with full hookups. You can stay here a maximum of 14 days. So pretty awesome. Did have the little excitement last night. Uh, let me flip this around. So we did have some excitement last night uh, with uh, tornadoes. Uh, there was one that uh, a funnel cloud did form. Uh, not too far away from here. I don't know exactly where, but uh, we took shelter in the, uh, the bath houses back there. That's the best place uh, to be. It shouldn't be in the trailer when you got tornado warning. So we spent about uh, two hours uh, in the bath house uh, waiting for the all clear. The uh, Good thing we had our emergency radio because there's no sirens in that uh, around here for tornado warning. So our our warning was our uh, emergency radio. At a time, Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm producing a tornado was located eight miles northwest of Cathedral or eight miles southeast of George Payne State Park, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard. Got to keep it on all the time because uh, down here in the south, this is tornado season. So, um, yeah, so it's best to be safe. So we spent a few hours in there. We had some real heavy winds, uh, but everything's good. So I said, thank goodness we have the emergency radio. Uh, here on, it is left on 24-7. So it's in standby mode, and uh, when the uh, NOAA sends a signal for an emer weather emergency, it trips an alarm on the radio and flashes the lights and stuff. Pretty, pretty awesome. And that's what warned us. All right, we had the same situation in uh, Florence, uh, Alabama, uh, the other night. Uh, well, actually, it was early morning, six o'clock in the morning. Sirens went off and they had a whole big announcement system. So we had to take refuge once again in the uh, bathhouse there. And that was an all concrete building. So that was uh, uh, definitely the safest place to be. So traveling in the south in, in the uh, fall, you have to expect tornadoes. Uh, it seems, I didn't know it was tornado season uh, for here. So you learn something new every day. All right, catch you later. Thomas, stay close to me. We don't need you to fall in the water. 
So this is a courtesy dock mooring for for the campers here. Beautiful. And I've never seen a plastic dock. The easy dock. Huh. It's plastic. That must have constructed pretty quick. But it it floats. Huh. Oh, and they got solar powered lights that light up the dock at night. Nice. This is an awesome place. And let's see here. It's beautiful. And then our camper is right over there.